Well, now more than ever, new moms are breastfeeding. Studies have shown that babies and moms benefit from it. But what happens to the breasts after lactation stops? Dr. Nicholas Villanustre, plastic surgeon and medical director of Reflections at St. Luke's, is here to answer your questions. Welcome back, doctor. Thank you, Sandy. Let's talk about this. I mean, yeah. breastfeeding or not, your breasts change, right? Yes, and, and again, breastfeeding is, is essential for you and the kid. I mean, you not only you're feeding them, but you're giving immunity, you're giving a lot of bonding between mom and baby. Mm -hmm. So it, this is something that you have to focus on do it. Yes, okay, well we have a, a viewer question about yes. what happens yes. after the fact. And the question is, is breastfeeding good or bad for the shape of my breasts? Well, the, the changes happen during the pregnancy. They're gonna get enlarged. They're gonna be much bigger than they usually are. And then after breastfeeding, they're gonna basically start shrinking so you start seeing a lot of changes on the skin and a lot of changes on the volume. They may go even smaller than before. Mm, I've heard that. Yeah. So it's not like breastfeeding is hurting you. It's just the changes that happen with it that it will deteriorate the image of it. So, but again, we can help you. What about breast pumps? Do they harm the breast at all? Do they have any impact on No. no? I mean, nowadays women are very busy and uh, a breast pump is actually something very useful. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt the breast more than just the changes that have been happening. Okay, and uh, breast lift. Let's talk about what this entails because, uh, and why would you want a breast lift? Yeah. So, depends on what happened during the pregnancy and breastfeeding. Sometimes the, the skin actually recovers very well mm -hmm. and you just lost volume. You may need just an augmentation. If you have just a deterioration of the skin and it's too loose, well, we need to tighten it up, and that would be the case for a, a breast lift. Sometimes it's a combination of both. So you have to do an augmentation with a lift at the same time. Can you explain how a lift works? Because I think a lot of people know about uh, you know, uh, augmentation and, and getting implants or something, but, but how does a lift actually yeah. work? So the, the breast anatomically, it, it has a perfect relationship between the nipple and the actual breast. Mm -hmm. When that relationship is start sagging, you start drooping the breast, well, you need to bring back that normal relationship. And that's what the lift will do. We'll kind of rearrange the skin and the nipple position uh, just to bring it back to the ideal uh, anatomic shape. And what kind of recovery is required after something like that? Well, the, if, if we're doing just a lift, I would say probably you're up and around recovery in about two weeks. Do most people get a lift and augmentation? Yes, that's, that's the most common way to go. I think if you do an augmentation with a lift, probably the recovery is closer now to three weeks. You have to, it's going to be a little harder to recover, but yeah, give yourself three weeks. And if you do that and you have another child, can you breastfeed again? Yes, absolutely. Uh, patients with breast lift or breast augmentation are perfectly back to normal in the breastfeeding uh, arena, yes. Okay, well that's good news. Yes. For more information, give Dr. Villanustre and his team a call at 727-210-8899 or visit them at reflections at stlukes.com. And if you have a question for Dr. Villanustre, please be sure to email us at daytime at wfla.com. Daytime, we'll be right back.